Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to Valheim. I did a really hardcore grinding session uh, between this and last video, but don't worry, I'm going to catch you up on what's going on. Um, first things first, you can see right here, um, I've cleaned out this area quite a bit, and I started digging the moat. Well, I didn't really start digging the moat, I kind of dug the moat. The only thing about this moat that might need to change is I might need to make it a little deeper. All right, so we're, I'm just going to come around here and show you the entire mo- Actually, you know what? Before I do anything, I need my rested bonus. I need my rested bonus. Yeah, so I went ahead uh, to my forward operating base over here, and I hit up all these copper mines. I got a bunch of copper, a bunch of tin. I went ahead and did a- I think I did a couple little things in here. Yeah, I uh, patched up that window, and I put a couple more chests down, and, uh, you know- Oh, oh, really quickly. I'm, I gotta apologize, guys. I owe an apology. I killed a troll off camera. I am really sorry. I was, like, fighting a troll, and I was just not in a position to record. Uh, I couldn't really do it. You guys have seen me fight trolls a million times, and you know what? If I find another one, I'll, I'll really make sure to record it, because, uh, yeah, it was killing me. I was like, I wasn't really in a position to record it, but it was, honestly, it wasn't anything. I shot him with a bunch of fire arrows. He burned and fell over. Uh, so, no big deal. But I do have some troll leather pants, which is really going to help out. Uh, my other pants were like, I think, two armor, and these are six. And I can tell the difference when I get hit. So, that is really nice. Alright, let me show you the rest of this, uh, the rest of the moat. Okay, over here and over here. Now, my building doesn't line up with the moat, which is kind of bothering me, but I'm going to let it go. Uh, we'll be doing some more building anyway, and, you know, it is what it is. Um, at some point, I'm hoping not to need the moat. I'm hoping once I get to a certain point in the game, I can start making stone walls by the dozens and maybe, like, make stone walls. But I'm going to need stone walls because eventually I will have troll attacks. And if you have troll attacks and you don't have, like, stone walls, you, you, you're going to have a bad time. Or you could just make a moat and not worry about it. So there we go. So this is all the stuff I got. There's all the tin, all the copper, everything else. I'm going to go ahead and load this thing up with some more copper. Is that all of it? Eh, that is all of it. Beautiful. And then I'm going to grab this. And, you know, let's grab some wood as well. So we're going to load this bad boy up. This bad mamma jamma. And then we're going to put a bunch of coal in the smelter and just bang out the rest of the copper. Now, the first thing I want to do today is... Well, what is the first thing I want to do? I want to do a lot of things. I think we need to get a farm going. I think that's my number one concern at this point. Uh, in order to make a, in order to farm things, you need something called a cultivator. So I'm going to need some core wood and some bronze. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some bronze. Put the copper away. And let's go ahead and grab some core wood. I think my wood is in here. Ah, close. It's in here. All right. Fair enough. How much do I need? I don't remember. I think I only need 10 or 5 even. All right. There we go. Cultivator. Beautiful. I think I'm going to make bronze... I, I mentioned this last episode. I think I'm going to make bronze armor before I make the, the the shield. Because I've upgraded my shield, I can block most things in the in the Black Forest. Um, now I'm going to need that shield before I fight Bone Mass. Uh, I'm going to have to look into the Bone Mass fight. I don't remember exactly how it goes. But I think I need the perfect block Bone Mass, in which case I'm going to need the, um, the good shield. I'd also need the good... Sh I'm going to need the bronze shield when I move into the swamp anyway. So, um, And I don't mean move into the swamp. I mean, you know... Once I get to the swamp part of the game. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go to sleep so all that stuff will finish up. And that will be awesome. So yeah, I um, really got a farm today. Uh, I'm probably going to quote unquote farm up some more copper and some more tin to make uh, bronze. And we just need to get his, we need to get bronzed out. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that rhymes, no doubt. Um, also, I don't have any lights in here because my... Torches have all burned out, so let's go ahead and grab some of this. And where are my torches? There we go. There we go, torch number one. I don't remember where they all are. That's yeah, good enough. Well, maybe this one too. And then one out here. Now, nah, out here is pretty good. All right. <laughs> oh boy, I got so much stuff. I've got all of this stuff. All right, so. I did grab carrot seeds. There's carrot seeds in the uh, in the Black Forest. I don't know if it actually showed me picking up carrot seeds, but they're very obvious. It's just like a plant. You just grab it as you go by. Um, no big deal. So uh, I do have some carrot seeds. So let's go ahead and grab our carrot seeds. Are they in here? Yes. Look at me go. And the thing is, it's important to get this stuff growing as soon as possible because it takes a while. 
Alright, so I think I right click and I do carrots. And I don't really know where I want to put these. Um, let's put them out here. Oh, that's right. I gotta. That's right. I was like, why can't I plant it? You gotta cultivate first, people. All right. That should be good enough for what I got. Now, they gotta be a certain amount of space away, but I think you could put them too close, which is kind of annoying. I wish you couldn't put them too close. Like. No, that's too close. It should be red. Because then you're just playing a guessing game on how close these can, these have to, you know, or can be. Okay, there we go. I think that should be okay. Actually, I got a lot of room. I don't know why I'm taking so much time to make sure they're as close as possible. There's a lot of room and not a lot of seeds. Okay, we're going to head on out to the trader and make a forward operating base at the trader. Uh, next, while we wait for that stuff to grow. I'm hoping to find some, uh, either a troll to kill for you guys, or, yep, here we go. That's not a troll, but, um, there's two things I wanted to do for you guys in the Black Forest. I wanted to find a troll to kill, and I wanted to find some seeds. Oh, these fucking guys. These fucking guys, eh? Okay, he can go to hell. Actually, no. I have to grab his stuff. Oh, I'm full. I can't, I can't grab anything anyway. I can, I can grab carrots. Right? I can grab carrots, right? No, I am exactly at 300. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, drop that, and drop that. Now I can grab the seeds. Okay, beautiful. The seeds are important. Um, yeah, I'd like... Well, actually, I guess I don't want to find a troll to kill right now. Because I can't carry its skin. I'm coming out here really loaded down because I want to come out here and just make a forward op... I didn't bring... Damn it, I didn't bring the uh, hoe, so I can't flatten out the ground for a, uh, a forward operating base. Probably not 100% needed, but... Yeah, man. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. I wanted to kill the troll for you guys, and I wanted to get some seeds on camera. I got the seeds on camera, so that's cool. Uh, and now I need to see if I can find myself a troll to slay. But I can't carry anything. So what I need to do is I need to make the forward operating base, get the portal up, go home, drop stuff off. I need to buy stuff from the trader. Actually, you know what? I'm going to buy stuff from the trader. I totally forgot I could buy the belt. So there's a few things the trader can sell to you. Uh, that are going to be useful. Um, for me, anyway. I like the fishing pole, and I like the belt. And I think that's about it. Unless I'm forgetting something, which I very well might be. Uh, so, the belt's going to give me an extra 150 carry weight. It's going to be awesome. It is pretty expensive. I think it's like 950 uh, coin. But I have it, so no big deal. Alright, i got to be careful around here. There's a little spawner out over that way, and a bunch of stuff here I don't want to be dealing with. But I think once you're in the trader, though, you are, you are invincible. Or not invincible, but the, I don't think the enemies can come in here. I could be wrong about that, but right, let's go ahead and sell stuff. And let's buy the belt. All right, so the belt is going to go down here. And 300 carry weight, now 450. Now I can carry more stuff. All right, but we do need a place for an outpost. And I think a good spot for an out... Oh, there's a troll. Okay, well... Let's do it. I told you guys I would do it, and I'm going to do it. If you get a sneak attack on the first hit, it'll do a lot of damage. There he goes. Oh, shit. Am I not using my good arrows? Nope. Well, I am now. Damn it, that was a mistake. Okay, well, it is what it is. Fire arrows will make his ass burn. What you want to do is wait for him to... Well, you don't want him throwing stuff at you. But you wait for him to go try and smash you, and then you move. Like that. And then you shoot. And then you move. And you shoot. And it's that over and over again until he stops moving. I don't like doing this in the um, in the biome now. I'd rather do it in like the... I usually what I do is I'll pull him out to the... to the. I forget what it's called. I keep wanting to call it the Meadowlands, but I think it's called the Meadows. <laughs> um, yeah, you usually drag him out to that biome. Because if you fight in here, you could get ads, and ads could really make things... You know, could really make things bad for you. Now, I don't think he can one-shot me, but he can almost one-shot me. Uh, but you know what? I used my deer power, so it means I could run forever, so... I think he's kind of screwed. But if I get ads or stuck on anything, it could do me in. Now, if you want to be uh, a little bit more, you know, I don't know what you would call it, frugal about it. You don't want to waste your arrows. You could just let him burn. Oh, boy. See, I got stuck on something there. Alright, I got no stamina. 
Alright, so I'm gonna work my way around over here. Kind of open terrain. Alright, there we go. He's just about done. Now, this takes a long time, and it's not that hard to do, so this will be the only time you probably see me kill one. Um, I might not kill anyone. I might not kill one again after this, because I'm going to be doing bronze armor, and I don't really think I need a skin, but well, whatever. It's a, I'll probably use a skin to upgrade the uh, items I already made, the pants I already made. So, all right, let's make a forward operating base. So I made myself a forward operating base right by the trader. It's called FOB Trader. Okay, I will show it to you in a couple minutes, but first things first, I would like to plant some birch trees. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I'm pretty sure I can plant birch trees. Isn't that what these are, the seeds? Yeah, birch seeds. Okay, so I should have some more in here somewhere. I have, a, I have like a seed chest. There we go. And I don't know if you need to actually like do anything to the ground for these. I'm also not going to make them within my area because they, they shouldn't, like these trees shouldn't be attacked. So like making them in my area would be kind of pointless. All right, um, those are carrot seeds, birch sapling. There we go. And we'll just give them a nice amount of room to grow. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. I got plants. I got plants for this world, people. Hell yeah, I do. And planting birch, birch seeds was the, next <laughs> was the next plan on my agenda. Okay, hey, what's up, buddy? Punch you to death. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay. Um, another thing I probably want to do is grab these. Oh, they weren't actually totally ready yet. I think they can hold up to four of their honey. So, could have waited a little bit, but that's okay. I did I did plant the extra carrots I came back with. Let's make sure they're not too close. Ah, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. I'm probably a little bit more cautious than I need to be with how close they are together. But, you know what? I'd rather have them farther apart than too close together because then they won't grow. Um, I did not upgrade my armor either. I made the uh, troll leather tunic. So now I have troll uh, chest piece, troll pants, which means I will probably make the bronze helmet first when I when I get to that. Okay, so what do we do next? Inventory has been organized. Um, I'm going to give you a little tip on these uh, teleporters. Now, when I put down the teleporter out here at the trader, all right, the teleporter at home was named Home, and I didn't want the Ford Operating uh, Trader teleporter to be named Home. I wanted it to be named FOB Trader. Okay, I wanted to match what's on the what's on the map. So, uh, if you change it to FOB Trader, it's not linked up to Home. You can't go home. Here's the thing, though: if you change the if you put the the teleporter on Home and then it's operational, and then you change it to FOB Trader and you jump in the portal quickly enough, you can actually go home before it actually gets. Before it actually gets changed over to FRB Trader. Um, so one thing I do want to do is I want two teleporters at home. I want one that's just home. I want to be able to come home at any point from any uh, teleporter. Uh, and be able to like go out to any teleporter at any point I want. So um, we're going to do that. And we're going to name this home. So now I can come home at any time. And I also want all my teleporters to be capital. Like all caps. Alright, so you're looking good. And then you will be FOB Trader. Alright, now the reason I'm going back out there is because I need to finish up the uh, the FOB Trader outpost. It's not it's not quite done yet. And you'll see when I get there. I have every wall up but one. So we're going to put up one more wall. And then I will consider the FOB Trader base uh, good to go. And yeah, that's how we will do it. Um, I'll probably come back here at some point with uh, a hoe as well. And till the ground. But, you know, that's not really... Of utmost concern right now. There we go. I know it's not much, but you know, it's kind of all you need. Alright. Now if I wanted to go home, I could change the thing is if you change this to home, it's not gonna work. Here, watch this. Watch this. Alright, so now it's linked up to the home portal. But I don't want this portal to say home. I want it to see say FOB trader, right? So watch this. You get close and you do FOB trader. Alright, and then you jump in quickly. Now, I know that you're going to say, well, it's going to take you home anyway, but it's going to take me to the home portal. Watch, I'll be outside. I'll be outside, because it didn't it didn't switch over fast enough. So, that's a good way to, you, you know, to use traders. If you go out, you know, to change names of traders, you'll be good to go. Um, or change names of portals, you'll be good to go. Also, I would suggest having two portals at home, 
And maybe even later on when you get the resources, maybe just have a portal for every single portal out in the world. But that can get pretty expensive though. All right, it is time to continue upgrading bronze. I'm going to take all the bronze I can. Um, and probably, I do want to leave some tin. See, here's the thing. I don't want to use all my tin because I'm afraid I might need it for something else. But whatever, I'm just going to use it all the hell with it. To hell with it. Bronze five. There we go. All right, so there's there's a couple different ways I can go with the bronze. Now I already have troll hide stuff in two in two spots. I don't have anything good on my head, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the bronze helmet, and I have to look at weapons as well. Okay. Now here's the thing. Okay. Um, I do like the daggers. All right. I really like the knives. The problem is there's not a bronze knife. There's only a copper knife. Now the copper knife's pretty good. The problem is it's got pierce and slash. And Bone Mass, who's, the, who's going to be... Well, it's not the next boss, but Bone Mass is going to be the next boss that I'm going to need a melee weapon for. The boss I'm going to fight next is going to be the Elder Boss, and that is all bow. Okay? we got, we got to make a bow as well. So, my weapon really... My next big melee challenge is going to be Bone Mass. And Bone, bone Mass is weak to Blunt and resistant to Pierce. As a matter of fact, I think most things in the swamp are resistant to pierce. I know the blobs are, and they're weak to blunt. So, basically what I'm trying to say here is, the knife might be great later on, but I think for the for the level 3 boss, or the, the third biome boss, and the third biome in general, which is the swamp, I think I'm better off doing blunt. Now, you might just say, okay, just use the copper knife until you get up to that point. The problem is, um, don't forget, we have skills in this game wherever they are and my club skill is only 13 i want to get that skill up before i even reach bone mass uh, so i think my best bet is to make myself a bronze mace all right so we're gonna need some more bronze and some more leather strips um and by more leather strips i mean actually any leather strips I think they're in here. there we go and more bronze we're pretty much at, uh, we're almost out of everything well not really we're doing okay we're doing okay. We're tiptoeing our way to victory. <laughs> For show. Sure. All right. So let's take a look in the forge. Bronze times five. Okay. And then we will make ourselves the bronze mace. I think I'm actually going to go swords by end game, but I don't know, man. Knives are pretty dope. So um, bronze mace. There we go. All righty. So the next thing I want to make. Now, what do I want to make next? Do I? I think I might want to upgrade my shield. I don't think I'm going to need to upgrade my shield until I'm out of uh, until I'm out of the biome I'm in. But I'm eventually going to I'm eventually going to need a better shield. So I'm not really sure about that. I'm not really sure what I want to make next with bronze. I know what I want to use my next bronze on. A fermenter. Yes, fermenter. You talk about things you're going to need when you're in the swamp biome. Yeah, poison resist. Definitely going to need poison resist. Now, I don't have any room for this damn thing. Um, but I think I could probably make some room over here i think i got enough chests for everything oh that's really big um can i get rid of two more chests i think i can we'll just kind of move this stuff around for now and I'll, I'll organize it later and we'll take two of these chests out all right there we go and that's enough room kind of come on no, it's not gonna be able to. It's not gonna be able to go back there. It's gonna have to be up front a little bit. Uh, missing. Oh yeah, probably put some fine wood away when I wasn't supposed to. Um, where did I put all that stuff? Okay, the fermenter's now made. I am now organized. Let's come on out here and grab some coal, and then we're gonna come in here. We're gonna cook us up some mead. All right, so we're gonna make some poison resistance mead. Probably need like at least two of these, maybe more. I'm just going to make two for now. And then you put the mead in there. Now, the fermenter does take a long time. So you want to start this early. And poison resist again. It's going to be for the swamp. But we're not going to... What we got to do is... This is what we're we'll doing. I'm going to be upgrading my armor. Building out my base. Upgrade... Well, upgrading my gear. Building out my base. And then we have to make a ship. And get all the way up here and set up a teleporter. So we can kill the elder to move on to the swamp biome. It's going to take a little bit of time. But I think we can do it. Um, relatively quick. What kind of ships can I make? I don't know. Five. Uh, miscellaneous. It, uh, wow, that's it? Really? I can't make a better ship than that? That seems... 
It seems odd that all I can make is a raft. I'm going to have to look into ships. I feel like I should be able to make a better ship than that, but I'm going to have to look into that. Okay, the next thing I would like to do is make a wall around the base. I think that's the next thing, and then this base will seem awesome. Um, I'd like to pick some carrots before the end of this video, but they do take a long time, unfortunately. So we're going to need some stone for this. Not too much. And then we got to be able to carry as much wood as we possibly can. That is too much. That is better. All right, so we're going to come out here and build up this wall. Do I really need this wall? Eh, probably not. But I think it's, I think it's going to make the place look a lot cooler, and that, that makes me happy. All right, so we go like that, and then we go like that. And then we just kind of build along the way. All right. Take your time. Make sure it lines up properly. Yep, yep, yep. Looks pretty good. Now, eventually, guys, not to not to give you guys any spoilers or anything, but eventually what I'm going to do is this house is going to be torn down completely. Uh, because it is not built on the proper angle, which is driving me up a wall. Um, <laughs> what I'm probably going to do is I am probably going to move things around. This um, this farm right here will be moved, this will be moved, and then I'm going to open up a big area right here for a big building, okay? Once that big building is done, I've moved into the big building, that building will be torn down. Um, this is going to be later on, though. This is not, like, anything, like, right now or really anytime, like, soon. It's going to be next video, the video after that. Um, it's just kind of, like, giving you ideas on my plans and what I'm going to be doing. Miscellaneous... All right, so do I want to put multiple doors in this thing or just one? I think just one, and I'm going to put it right there. Which means I don't have to worry about putting anything here. Uh, one thing you can do with these walls, if you so choose, and I might. Um, we'll see. If you want to defend them, you could put, like, walkways, and they snap into place. So you could put walkways up here, so you could, like, fire down at whatever's trying to attack you. And, um, yeah, that is awesome. Moats, walls, and ways to stand on the walls to shoot down arrows is a winning recipe in any survival game, in my opinion. All right, so there we go. We got the wall almost around the entire place. Um, it doesn't quite line up exactly the way I would want it to. Um, that's kind of annoying, uh, but I've got some ideas on maybe some ways I could fix that. Um, the obvious way would be to just put something below it, like maybe something like uh, this, right? And then have it below it. I could do that. The problem is if anything falls in here, that stuff is at risk of getting destroyed. But I don't have a better solution. Uh, the only other solution I have is I could move these walls in one and then dig the trench a little bit bigger. Or I could try and... There's a few different things I could do. Honestly, none of them are good, really good. But <laughs> it's, it's okay. These are one of those things where I'm going to have to accept a non-perfect build. Um, you know, I've talked about this in a lot of my videos. Sometimes you have to accept non-perfect builds. Maybe I'll mess around with it at some point um, in the future and try and get a little bit better. So this doesn't even look like it's lining up with what's what's on the other side. Um, no, it, it does. It lines up. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a door right here. Okay. And, yep, big door, please. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely not lining up. What you want to do in a perfect world is you want to make your walls first and then dig the trench around it. But that's okay. It'll be good enough for now, and I will make it better as time goes on. Alright, and there we go. Alright, so let me see if I could uh, maybe bring this up a little bit. Uh, like that. Now, see, that's not gonna... That's not gonna happen. It's gonna flatten it out, but it's not gonna bring it up at all. So the, the other thing I could do is I could... I guess I could maybe fill this in a little bit and then yeah i could extend the trench out this way like um yeah we're gonna we're gonna be doing problem solving for the rest of this episode because i'm kind of i'm kind of curious on what i could do to help this because it's, it's gonna bother me i know it is it doesn't have to be fixed right now but i do want some kind of solution that i could work towards you know in the future to make this happen so i'm thinking what i could do is widen the trench like so I'll just widen it a little bit. We'll kind of mess around a little bit with this here. All right. Beautiful. Maybe a couple more spots. Okay. And then once we've widened the trench... Uh, one more. We can fill in... Uh, filling in stone on the inside is going to cost stone, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. So we go back to the hoe. We fill in some stone. Like that. 
And then we do like this. Yes, that's it. That's how we fix it. It's gonna take a while, but hey man, at least I have a at least I have a way to fix it. Now this is just my OCD Ah! Oh, damn it! This is my OCD bullshit getting getting the best of me. Which I hate, but you know. Again, I don't have to I don't have to fix it right now, but I do want to be able to fix it at some point. See, just like that, I ran out of stone. <laughs> so um, but that's okay. I got the stone up that way. So now we just hit if we hit it right here. It should hit in the right spot. See, it's a little... That's not far enough. That's it. That's the spot. Beautiful. Okay, and th that looks really... That looks a lot better. That looks... Definitely looks a lot better. All right, so you know what? It's not perfect, but I have a fix uh, lined up. I'm not going to put any kind of walkway through here. I'm just going to jump through there. And let's go ahead and pick our carrots. There we go. Carrot stew, deer stew, all kinds of stew. The next thing we'll be able to get as far as um, as far as grub goes and seeds uh, will be turnips, and that will be in the swamp biome. And that will be awesome. Let's go ahead and pick this. I'm kind of, I am want to take a look at everything I can make and really see how good it is. Now, in order to plant carrots, you just simply plant... In order to plant the seeds, you just plant the carrots. It's not like you turn the carrots into seeds or anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the cultivator. Okay. And we're going to look right here. So there you go. Carrot seeds takes one carrot. Um, what do you get? Like two carrots per... I don't know. I don't know how you get more carrots and seeds. I think you get like three carrots per pick. Or something like that. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Alright, so let's see what we can make now. So the carrot soup is going to be our stamina food. So this is 1440. That's 1545. So it's barely an upgrade. Um, let's see what the deer stew is. So the deer stew is our hit point food and it takes carrots. So there you go. Oh, and blueberries. So... If I go with the, this is a hit point food, uh, this is a stamina food. If I go with this kind of stamina food, yeah, we should probably just go with carrots. So with this, with the carrot soup and the deer stew, that'll be our, that'll be our stamina and hit point food. That will be awesome. What's minced meat soup? Oh, that's another hit point food. So which one's better? This one's 4515. Uh, so this one is 25 minutes, three hit points per tick. Yeah, the deer stew's better. I don't really see the point of this one at all, except maybe that's cheaper. So, all right, well, whatever. Either way, we got some dope new uh, things to cook. That's going to be awesome. I am going to call this one here. Uh, by the way, um, just so you guys know, I'm going to replant all those carrots. Um, carrot. Plant carrot seed to grow. Um, plant carrot to get more seeds. Oh, okay, interesting. That, that's the way it works. I totally forgot. So basically, you plant uh, the carrot seeds to get the carrots, and then you plant the carrots to get the seeds. So if I plant th the seeds, I'll get the seeds, and then I gotta do the carrots again. I'm gonna do that, though, because I really want to get um, quite a bit of carrots, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant the seeds. And I am gonna call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.